Elizabeth Throckmorton was born on April 16, 1565, it is believed in Warwickshire, England. Elizabeth's father was Sir Nicholas Throckmorton, and her mother was Anne Carew. She was one of a very large family, consisting of ten brothers, and two sisters. Elizabeth would herself marry, and have at least three children. Elizabeth would have been educated as befitted her station, which in this era would have meant reading and writing, mathematical skills, to enable her to run a household and estates in her husband's absence, she would have learned to dance and play musical instruments. She would have been taught several languages, as well as manners and etiquette. Riding and archery would have been skills Elizabeth would have learnt as well. Elizabeth would marry well, which was the path that women of her era were expected to take, to forge alliances with other powerful families through arranged marriages. If you were a high-ranking noblewoman, you could be chosen to be ladies maid to the Queen. This was the case with Elizabeth Throckmorton and her brother Arthur, both being present at court and Elizabeth becoming a lady of the privy chamber. Elizabeth Throckmorton would become Elizabeth Raleigh. Also known as Bess, Elizabeth secretly married Walter Raleigh in the autumn of 1591, when she discovered she was pregnant. Not seeking the permission of the Queen was a huge offence, and even though Elizabeth managed to hide her pregnancy from the Queen, giving birth away from the royal court in March of 1592, a son, thought to have been called Damory, died in infancy. Elizabeth was effectively a ward of the Queen as lady in waiting and as such, when she found that the couple had made a love match and wed, she was understandably angered. Raleigh was summoned back from an expedition to Panama, and imprisoned, with Bess, in the Tower, from June 1592. Raleigh would be released in August of 1592, and Bess released in the December of that year. They would have two further children, sons, Walter and Carew. Walter Raleigh and Elizabeth remained out of favour with the Queen for the next five years as a result of their refusal to seek a pardon from the Queen for their secret marriage. Bess would continue to manage her husband's estates and business affairs through his many absences, and when he was executed in 1618, she was heartbroken. She would continue to maintain her husband was nothing if not an honourable man. It was rumoured she kept his embalmed head close to her at all times, only upon her own death in 1647, was his head returned to his tomb which was interred at St. Margaret's Church.